Hello and welcome to this safety eye painting tutorial where I'm going to show you how to purchase safety eyes through AliExpress or Amazon and when you receive them have your paints uh, which ones to have what paintbrush to use so that we can create these safety eyes that have dots on them safety eyes also come with a safety backing and you can use these in crocheted projects known as amigurumi these particular ones are 25 millimeter so if you are interested in learning how to paint safety eyes come join me and let's paint safety eyes together let's get started the materials and tools that we will be using we have a flat bristle paintbrush we have some dotting tools these are called embossing and style tool set the paints that I'll be using is folk art matte in the color of yellow folk art matte in violet pansy which is a purple color and color shift in the color of orchid flash the star of the show here is our safety eyes if you notice these are off-centered they're called kawaii eyes I will show you how to order these through Aliexpress or on Amazon make sure you have backings that fit the size of your safety eye also the safety eye used in this video is 25 millimeters so to begin we're going to go to the internet and type in AliExpress and under Aliexpress and it will load now I already have an account you can download the app you don't have to have the app okay so you'll notice here I have in crochet safety eyes or clear safety eyes safety eyes is basically the key word once you have that in there hit search and all kinds of safety eyes show up now the safety eyes that they sell here come with a separate disc let me show you what they have if you tap on the picture you can see they have many different colors but they also have this disc what we're going to do is we're going to paint these eyes are called standard eyes which means that the pupil is right there in the center so you have a, a choice of what you want to use or where you can go look for it and find whatever ones you want um, they come in different sizes let me show you how to order the size from this one here so if you look down here you scroll it up just a little bit it has nine sizes to choose from you'll see a little arrow here on the side and the tap on that and right here is the sizes okay you can choose from mixed colors you can get a solid with all the same in the set here's 25 millimeter and then add to cart or buy it now and they take PayPal and but the bad thing about Aliexpress is it takes about a month to get here so if you typed in the multicolor you'd get one set of each color pretty much so let's go back and see how many is in so you get 20 pieces which is 10 10 sets of eyes so that's basically how you would order from Aliexpress now if you had um, 
Amazon, you can type in here on Amazon. It looks like they got all kinds of stuff going on. And down here in the search bar, just type in safety eyes. Okay, and then it comes up with sizes. I'm going to type in safety eyes for crochet. And here they have lots to choose from. Safety eyes ordered this way will come quicker. Now here's a hundred set, a hundred pieces in 28 millimeter. Now these all come with the backing. Now you can order them with the backing. We're just not going to use it. These are known as standard eyes because like mine, you see how the kawaii eyes is off to the side. So you can paint these as well. But because I have kawaii eyes, I'm going to show you how to do the kawaii eyes. So after you make the decision of what you want to order, you can order any size. Just This is through Amazon of what this particular company has to offer. And then you can find the price, where you want to send it to, add to your cart, buy now. I think you know how to do that. Okay? So... Those are the two places that I order safety eyes from. And so let's get started on how to paint our eyes. So when you first get your eyes in the mail, you notice that I have like this little piece of tape over it. I don't know if, you, if the camera really shows it. But this piece of tape is basically to keep the front here from getting scratched because they include many in one package. You'll also take a look around. You'll notice that there's imperfections. It's because they're mass produced and they break them apart. So what I like to do before I start any painting and file it down till it's smooth before we start to paint. So after you file them down and get them smooth, do note that because of the cup that the safety tab comes in, um, a lot of it will be covered by your crochet work, but it's just good to have it so it doesn't snag onto anything. Okay, but you wanna brush the dust off of both of them here and the design that we're going to do on this one is with dots so I'm going to get out the large dotting tool there's three in a pack I, I purchased these at Michaels but you can find them at either Walmart or any other of the craft stores and before you use your paint, you always want to shake them, stir them, make sure that the liquid is the same consistency throughout. So I'm going to go ahead and shake mine. I did it off camera. <laughs> and then we're going to go ahead and start with our dots. Okay, so to make it easier... I don't take and dip everything everywhere. I just take the biggest one right here. And what we're going to do is we're going to find the center and place one here. Come over a little bit and come over a little bit. So we're going to put it in here. So we have paint right there. And then we're just going to tap. Okay, dip some more paint onto it. Come over about a quarter of an inch and into the center tap. Get some more paint over a quarter inch and tap. So this is what we have so far. And then I'm going to do the same thing onto the other one. But every time you take paint and drop it down you want to make sure that you add more paint 
so that you have a circle, not an oval or a cloud looking shape. <laughs> Okay, always wipe off your tools as you go along. You don't want the paint to dry on them. So I'm going to go wipe this off and put the lid back on to, and then we're going to move on to the purple color. So I brought the camera in a little bit closer, and this time I'm going to use a different size dot. Of course, I've already shook my purple paint, and I'm just going to use it from the cap. I think I'll use this next size up. So we want to come in here, and then we're going to start up here at the top and dot. You can place your dots anywhere you like. You can create a particular pattern if you like, or you can just have fun placing dots wherever you would like. I find this really relaxing, even if it is just dropping dots of paint onto a plastic. <laughs> okay, so I have my dots on this one. Let me see if I can, you see what we got? Now, it may look like nothing right now, but you'll, after we do the next, the next step, that will be the completion of the eye. But we want to also let this dry before we put on our next step. So I'm going to go ahead and the next eye will have the same design as the one I put on the other eye. Don't want them to look too different. I notice that some of this paint I can go ahead and tap a little bit more here. Also you don't want your dots to be too close together to where they join. Um, another thing, too, about these um, safety eyes is they're really not washable. So, but the, the chances of really washing a crocheted stuffed animal is really kind of slim. Um, I'm going to show you in another uh, safety eye video that I'm going to be making here pretty soon of materials that you can use that would be kind of safe for washing but nothing's a hundred percent so we're going to go ahead and let all of this here dry for about 10 or 15 minutes and then we're going to be putting on the the next which will be the color shift and you'll see a big difference um, in our safety eyes so let's wait 15 minutes. Please pause your video and I'll see you in a few minutes. So while we're waiting for our safety eyes to dry, I thought I'd show you some of the eyes I have already made. These are with white dots and the background is done in purple. And I placed it on my amigurumi And these are with the same safety eyes that I just showed you. So the possibilities are pretty endless, but I'm showing you some of the stuff that I like to do. 
which is the dots. So now we're going to use our color shift. You'll notice this particular paint, when the light hits it a certain way, it does turn colors. And this is, I really like this paint. So I've already shook my bottle. I'm going to go ahead and use my flat brush and just take a little bit from the lid. And then we're going to start from the center where the stem of the safety eye is and brush out. And you want to do this all the way around. Now even though this has a side to it, you don't want to go down right here. We don't, we don't want to go down there. We just want it to stay on the back. Now after I put that first run around on there, then I come back in here and thicken it up. And then I tap, 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 until I get the paint all the way around it. You notice how I'm kind of thickening it up on the, the brush. Now, I normally don't do paint work, so if I say the wrong paint words, I'm sorry. <laughs> but here this is what we're doing just thickening it up now tap 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 and then just a second here I'll show you what mine looks like now you want to let these dry for a good 24 hours or so before you use them so you want to keep them quiet somewhere Okay, you can see I got paint all the way around it. Okay, and this is what it looks like. Okay, when it dries, it'll have a little bit of shade coloring to it. So I'm going to go ahead and do this to the other one. And if I run out of paint, I can always pull the paint from... The other side. Oh, I forgot to go over it first. I go over it first to make sure that the paint will stop at the edges. And if you do get a little bit on the the stem, that's okay. It's it's not a bad thing. And it's like I said before, this is not washable. So when you do put it on your, your stuffed animal or whatever your project is, you do not, you want to spot wash it. You don't want to stick these particular eyes in the, the washing machine. Also, safety wise, when it comes to safety eyes in any crocheted um, project, you do not want to give it to a small child that has a tendency to want to chew on things. There is always that possibility of the safety eye backing coming off and the safety eye getting caught in their mouth without you knowing it and they can choke on it. And we don't want children to get hurt from these things. All right, so I have finished putting paint on both of these. Like I said, you want to let these dry for about 24 hours, and then you'll be able to use them with your, your stuffed animal. So I hope you like this little short little tutorial on how to paint safety eyes and how to order the safety eyes. So, till next time, bye-bye.